Hey you guys, my name is Betty Nicole and I would like to welcome you to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about isolation and we're gonna look at the differences when God isolate his people and when his people choose to isolate themselves because I believe that there is a huge difference. A lot of times when I'm scrolling on YouTube or other social media platforms like TikTok, I see a lot of videos of people doing, talking about God's chosen ones and how isolation comes uh, before you're elevated and all of those things in some sense can be true but I also believe that the enemy has used that tone or that posture of isolation to deceive people into self-isolation as well it's led them down the path of hiding and just kind of secretly struggling with the guilt and the shame and the regret and the betrayals all by themselves maybe because they've been hurt by someone or maybe because they feel as though every time they give of themselves or they do a certain thing that something is triggered and they're right back in that in the place in which they started now again isolation can be good when it is done in a way that is healthy that is god honoring and and god fearing and we see this in jesus's life jesus regularly went away to pray alone the bible will talk about how he rose up early and how he went away and actually in mark chapter 6 verse 31 it reads and he said unto them come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while for there were many coming and going and they had no leisure so much as to eat so we see that jesus is pulling his disciples to the side he's like look come on let's go into a desert place but the word that stood out to me is he said let's go into a desert place and rest a a while so that means that there's a time frame there's a particular season for that desert place that he was leading them to into isolation and there was a purpose he did it because there was so many people surrounding them that you know they weren't able to actually get the rest and to actually kind of regroup and get the mental capacity that and the spiritual capacity they would need to go back out into the people so in that sense that isolation is good and it is healthy but then and when we look in Jonah's life when Jonah ran from the call of God and God was leading him to go in one particular direction and Jonah was like no I don't want to go there but then after he was swallowed up by the whale and we know he made his trek and he actually went to do it because he was angry at God and kind of at the people he self-isolated he himself decided that he was going to go away and sit up under a tree and wished himself that he would have just died because he felt the angst of God's mercy towards the people and he just was upset. And so in that sense, that isolation is not good. Do not allow the enemy to lead you down a path that is leading you to this secret dark place because you have been hurt or you are angry or you, you're disappointed or because you don't understand why God is allowing certain things because God will never lead you into the dark leave you there God will never lead you into a desert place and leave you there God will never lead you into a secret place and just leave you there if God leads you there it's so that you can be strengthened so that you can be comforted so that you can grow in your knowledge of who he is and in his word and be strengthened in your faith and and be healed and so that he can heal the wounds and things like that then he sends you back out to his people once you in community and what i believe is that the enemy is stripping us away of that community by pushing out these messages of if you're a chosen one you know you have to isolate yourself and all of these things and like i said to some degree that is true we do have to be watchful of our environment who we hang around who we listen to who we take counsel from and there are some times and in some seasons when god will lead you to not be at every function and not be around a whole lot of people but you have to keep in mind that that should be seasonal i know for me i use my closet as a crutch or as a a shield to hide me from the world because for a long time i didn't want to face it face people and be around people because of perceived failure that i was carrying within myself 
because of regret and guilt and shame and just confusion and just not understanding and just being deeply disappointed in life and because of that I didn't know how to really show up and still feel that disappointment and just deal with the tension of okay yes I'm disappointed but God can still use me I can still show up on these platforms even though I know that to some degree that there are some things that may come across my eyes that may trigger some places in my soul that may remind me of past wounds but if I am trusting God to work through those things within me then I have to trust that even if something happens even if I'm triggered in any way that God will strengthen me and he will help me identify it so that I can heal and and what I know that I am prone to do is to self-isolate myself and feel like I need to protect myself I got to protect myself and I've learned that that self-preservation sometimes can shield you and and kind of stunt your growth because you grow in uncomfortable places you grow in hard places you grow when you show up even though you don't feel like it you grow when you go sit down and have a bible study or have a go to a prayer meeting and you show up and be around people who actually love you even though you don't feel like doing that question that I'm posing to you guys is it God that is isolating you or are you self isolating yourself because you are afraid of being hurt again or maybe you are just so upset at life. If it is the latter, then I encourage you to seek God, to pray next to the Lord, to heal you, to heal those wounds, to strengthen you, and to affirm you in his word so that you can stand firm in knowing that he that began a good work and you will see it to completion, that God still is in control. He's still on the throne. He has not moved. He's sovereign. He sees and he knows every detail of your life. He's not left you. He's still with you. He's standing with you in the moments when you feel as though you can't go on he's carrying you because his grace is sufficient i encourage you to press into those truths so that you don't isolate so much that you miss out on the very life that god has given you and if you are in a season where it's a healthy isolation and god is just doing the work in your heart stay on that path but don't forget that it is only supposed to be for a season. For Jesus said they went away for a while to rest and to regroup from leisure so that they can kind of get some leisure, okay? So prayerfully, this video was encouraging to you guys. And until next time, y'all be encouraged.